Hi guys, my name is Peter C. Dogwa Jr., mathematics instructor at the University of Liberia and your math tutor. In my today's lecture, I will be discussing differential equation. And this is a continuation of our previous lesson that we did when we started uh, with differential equation, its definitions, and some basic concepts. So we want to continue on two basic concepts. That is the order of a differential equation and the degree of a differential equation. So what do we mean by the order of a differential equation and what do we mean by the degree of a differential equation? So the degree of a differential equation, it is similar to the, the degree of a polynomial. So when you have an idea of how to find the degree of a polynomial in polynomial expressions, then you can be able to picture what would the degree of a differential equation looks like. So we said the order of a differential equation is defined as the highest derivative of the unknown in the differential equation. So whenever you are given a differential equation, just look for the highest derivative. So for the first example, d2y by dx squared minus dy by dx plus 6y equals to zero. So this d2y is the same as saying y prime, prime, the second derivative, minus dy by dx is the same as saying y prime, plus 6y equals to zero. So we clearly look here, the highest derivative is two. So our order is equal to two. Now, since the order is two, it's like you have a polynomial, x to the third power plus, 2x to the fourth power minus 5x plus 1. If you have a polynomial and they ask you what is the, the highest power, we say the highest power is, is 4. So if the highest power is 4, then it means that since the term uh, 2x to the fourth power is that term that possesses the highest power, it means this term will also be the leading term. And the coefficient of this variable will be the leading coefficient as well. So it's similar to this. So since this y prime prime is the term with the highest derivative, which we now refer to as the highest order of the differential equation, we can now think about finding the power to this highest derivative. So this y prime prime, what is it raised to? So if we carefully look at this thing, it's just raised to the power one. So it means that the degree is equal to one. Now, what is the differential equation? What type of differential equation is this? Is this an ordinary differential equation or it is a partial differential equation? So we talked about ordinary differential equation. We said whenever we are dealing with a single, a single, independent variable uh, that is x or some t or whatever independent variable you have then that is referred to as an ordinary differential equation so when you have a single independent variable with either one or more dependent variable it means that you are dealing with an ordinary differential equation so since the independent variable that is down here is only x this is our ordinary differential equation i will call the ode now the next problem says d d dx by dt plus dw by dt plus d2s by dt or by dt square so this thing this this first area is just like saying s prime plus the second area now this is the dependent variable and this is the independent variable. So the dependent variable is the name of the function that was differentiated. So S was the name of the function. So W was also the name of the function. So this is just W prime plus this is also S. So this is S prime prime equals to five. So how many independent variables here we have? just a single independent variable so without thinking 
we call this differential equation an ordinary differential equation. What is the highest derivative of the differential equation? Higher derivative is prime prime, which is now 2. What is this s prime prime raised to? Is it raised to the first power or the second power or the third power? It is raised to the first power, so we call the or the degree one. So that's that does it for that question. We'll move to the last question. Now, in this case, we have u, v, u, and v. So for the Dependent variables, we have two dependent variables. U, prime, prime, and V, prime, prime. Two dependent variables. And then within U, prime, prime, the variable we have in that, or U, prime, prime, which we call the independent variable is T. And then within V, the independent variable is X. So since we have more than one independent variable, this is no longer an ordinary differential equation, but it is a partial differential equation. So the differential equation that you see here is called partial differential equation, PDE, partial differential equation. So what is the order? What is the highest derivative within this problem? The highest derivative is 2. Now, don't say, but I have two here. I have, I have, let's say, the second derivative and second derivative here. It doesn't matter. So, we just, our focus is what is the highest order? If this was three, the highest order would have been three. So, since it is two, the highest order is two. So, what is the degree? So, what if this was raised to the third power? This indicates that the degree would have been three. But since it is not raised to the third power, it's just like we have it like this. The highest, the degree is just one. So thanks all so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to look at some complicated problems in, uh, you know, under finding the order and degree of a differential equation. You know, problems that we'll have to uh, do some simplification before determining the degree of the differential equation. So thanks all so much. See you in our next video.